So I'm just your friend now, she. <laughs> You're not even here. He's not even here. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I play the character Weki in the last two seasons of Sugar and what I love about the character is that he's very relatable, especially for me. Um, he likes music, I like music, he's the cool guy, I'm the cool guy, you know, he likes sports, I like sports, um, he's good looking, I'm good looking, you know, <laughs> but um, yeah, he's, he's very real, you know, he's very down to earth. Um, most of the troubles that you would go through as a young teenager, he's going through them. So it's very relatable, which is what I like about the character. Now, what I hate about the character, or what I don't really like about the character, or what people might not like about the character, or his Achilles heel, or you know, you get what I'm trying to say, is he's a bit, or he can be irrational, right? He doesn't exactly think things through a lot of the time before he does some things, but then it's just a phase that, that you see him go through, especially if you've seen both seasons. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the character is like me, you know. Um, as I said, he's cool, I'm cool. Um, a lot of the things he went through, I went through, or I'm still kind of going through. Um, my mom and I still have arguments <laughs> from time to time, and you can see Weki and Shadi having a couple of arguments. So. Um, where Shadi was busting Wakey up for coming back late. My mom still does that, you know, because I still have curfew. Yes, I know. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, we're, we're alike in, in a lot of ways. My favorite scene in the last season of MTV Shaga uh, would have to be... Wow. Um... <laughs> Well, there was, okay, no, because I'm sure everybody would expect me to pick that one scene in episode three that Weki and Leila hook up, so no, I'm not, I'm not going to pick that scene. Um, my favorite scene would be the scene when Leila comes and catches Weki at his HIV uh, support group meeting. Yeah, and you know, the scene when she comes into the room and sees him and then when he has to run out and try and convince her to stay, yeah, that, that was my best scene shooting. Um, yeah, if I had to pick one, I would pick that scene. Having Tiro Savage as my TV mom was absolutely amazing. Um, I remember when we were about to do the, the read, um, the script read with the director. I didn't know who was going to play Shadi, right? So I'm just there like, okay, well, maybe it'll just be some cool person that will just come and play Shadi and we might not even talk anything. And then, boom, in walks Tiwa Savage. Now, I was very excited, of course, right? Like, I was doing backflips in my head. There was, like, fireworks going on, but I had to act all cool like it was nothing. So I just looked at her. I was like, oh, I'm hi, Tiwa. Good afternoon. Oh, cool. Nice to meet you. But in my head, I was excited, right? And she's so down to earth. She's so cool. Um, she would buy herself food. She would buy me food, <laughs> you know? Um, we went out a couple of times, and she just... I feel like we have a genuine relationship offset as well. Like it's not just work, you know. I can I can call her or I can text her and we can have like an actual conversation. And she cares about me, and she asks how I'm doing from time to time. And she asks about my mom. And you know, it's just it's just really amazing having Tiwa Savage in my corner. And I'm very thankful for MTV Sugar for that. Um, if I had to name one person who has had a tremendous impact on me as an actor, it would have to be... I know this is kind of cliche, but my mom. Um, yeah, my mom, just because she's been there from the beginning, um, as I said, she started me out on my acting journey. She used to take me to all my auditions and she just used to make sure I was reading my script and I was taking it serious because, you know, as, as a young kid, it's easy to get carried away with all the paparazzi and the cameras and the lights and the recognition. And she just helped to keep me grounded and keep me focused. And that's very important, you know, in whatever you're doing, especially as a young guy on the come up is just to not get distracted by everything else that's happening on the side or behind the camera. And she also taught me how to handle negative comments as well. 
So I would say if I had to pick somebody that has had a tremendous impact on my life as an actor, besides all the other amazing actors I've worked with, of course, it'll have to be my mom. Which is a river in Egypt. My goodness. Uh, my acting journey started in 2000, I was about six. At the time, and before that, I was already doing radio voiceovers and I was modeling for mostly corporate brands, um, a couple TV ads, billboards, you know, handbills, that, that type of thing. And I've always been very animated in conversation, you know, my hands are <laughs> always going all over the place and I like to have expressions based on the gist I'm giving. So I figured my mom just thought we should try out for acting and she took me to audition for this show called Everyday People. I went there, they liked me, of course. <laughs> And, you know, I, I got on the show. I did that for about eight years. Then I did this other series called The Patriots. It was a biography on Dora Creeley, the NAFDAQ DG. Uh, then I did Staying Strong, then The Johnsons, of course, then Sugar, then, you know, the movies started coming. And, yeah, now I'm nominated at the NVCAs. So, yeah, it's been a really amazing time. Uh, I don't think I would change, I don't think I would change anything. Um, the journey has just been really good and I've met some really amazing people and I've worked on some really, really good projects. So I'm very fortunate and I'm just having fun with it, which is very important as well. Um, yeah, growing up on TV has been kind of hard for me. Uh, in the sense that, one, I've had to grow up in the public eye of sorts. Um, which means just extra scrutiny whatever I'm doing. Um, I really can't go out uh, to certain places and just actually just go and chill. Um, I have to, you know, be bothered about how I look now and what I say, because now I have to be a role model, <laughs> you know. But also, I don't really have that much time to hang out with my friends. Uh, it's extra work for me because I, I miss a lot of school at times. So there's always catch-up work that I need to do, so I'm studying extra hard and I miss a lot of, you know, extracurricular activities I would really have liked to be a part of. Uh, you know, I've, I've had to just grow up really fast, you know, I've had to think really mature because I've been surrounded by older people my whole life, especially because I've been working a lot my whole life. So I guess that's an advantage as well because it um, changed my perception on life and how I look at things and just the angle at which I approach a lot of things. Uh, is very different. So as with everything else, there's pros and cons. There's the good side and the bad side. So as long as the good outweighs the bad, then I guess everything is fine. And I would like to think that for me, the good has outweighed the bad. So yes, I have grown up on TV and I, I don't mind that. Uh, right now, balancing work with uni is extremely hard. I didn't understand how hard it would be. I remember sitting in my house and I used to be like, yo, all these guys that will go the entire uni and be dropping now, they're not serious. You know, they can't even focus. They have to mix those two things. Then I got into uni and then it hit me. The workload is a lot, right? And then there's acting on the side, which is a lot of work as well because you have to read your script, character analysis, character breakdown, shooting schedules might be conflicting with your academic schedule. Uh, there's a lot of compromise attempts. You have to drop some things because you have exams and things like that. So yeah, it's been very rocky, very wavy, but um, so far I've survived three years of it, uh, seen as I'm in my third year in uni. So uh, I'm just staying positive, you know. Um, I do what I can in, in the time that I can, but at the end of the day, school is the priority, of course, because academics, education is very important. Uh, you know, so I'm, I, be, I believe, I'm a firm believer in education and just expanding your horizon. And even if you don't want to, you know, do what you studied in, in school, it just helps you to meet people. It shows that you can learn, you can understand. Uh, it teaches you people skills. You know, there's, you know, when they say let your school pass through and don't just pass through school. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can pick up from going to uni. So, yes, it's hard mixing school and work, but I'm almost done. I have like a year-ish roughly <laughs> left so yeah i'm just gonna ride the wave and then of course when i'm done with uni then we cannot face this acting hustle 100 percent but until then school is the priority and i like school as well and so far school likes me and i have really good grades as well i've always had 
really good grades because my parents have told me that if I don't have good grades, I can't act. So if I want to do what I love, I have to do what they love and they love good grades. So it's a win-win for everybody. Yeah, now, what do I prefer, movies or series? Now, this is a hard question because movies allow you to be multiple characters, right? You can do five movies and be five different people and work on five different sets and meet five different sets of people and just get exposed times five. But on a series, you can actually see a character grow. You can see the progression. Uh, you get to imprint yourselves in the minds of people that watch the show over time and they get to love you even more uh, you just get to be comfortable uh especially on a on a family type show or like show that just involves you interacting with other cast members you tend to develop some sort of family relationship that um you know even after the show you can still chill uh so i don't know if i could pick movies or series uh i i don't know i i, th I like both <laughs> I like to do movies and I like to do series as well, you know, as long as, at the end of the day, it's just about your schedule, you know, and if my schedule can take both, then I'm more than willing to do TV and, and do series as well. Yeah, um, first of all, me, I was just excited to be 21, you know, like finally, like legal in every country, right? Excited. Then, boom. AMVCA's nominees announcement is on my birthday and I get there and first of all while I'm still trying to take everything in everybody at the venue is singing me a happy birthday and I'm like hey 21 isn't so bad <laughs> you know and then I get announced as a nominee and the best supporting actor in a TV or drama series I was excited you know like even up until now this is this is like it's been like a month already but Every time I see that poster with my name, uh, it's, it's, it's hard to put it in words, you know, especially when you've been doing something for so long mm -hmm. and now it just feels serious, you know, like now I feel like people actually are paying attention to the hard work that this young, focused individual is putting in and I feel like everything's paying off now. <laughs> but, but yeah, I'm just excited to, to be nominated at the AMVC, I'm excited to be 21. Um, 2016 is looking good, you know, I, I like how I can look back at my life and see progression, right? And that is key. It, I'm, I feel like now I'm not just wasting hours. Um, all the school I've missed, now my teachers and lecturers can see it's working out. Um, everybody that said they want to be an actor, all the entertainment people, they're not serious, they're loafing about. Now they can see that it's real. And being an actor is not just wishy-washy, it's serious. It takes a lot of hard work and commitment and you can't just come here and be playing, this is real. And I just feel like, for me and for all the other young people um, doing, doing stuff in entertainment as well, I feel like this is an opportunity to just put us on the map, you know, just so we can get appreciated a bit more for what we're doing. And if I can be the door or the catalyst for that, then yeah, I'm, I'm more than excited. Cause I feel like this encourages me to keep going and other young people as well. Cause now they know it's possible. You know, you can get nominated, you can win awards, you can get recognition as long as you put in those hours and you just make yourself stand out in, in a positive way, of course. Uh, uh, at the moment, um, yeah, this series, Las Giddy Cops, is going to be re out really soon. Um, I'm very excited for that. Uh, it's kind of like, it's never kind of like, it's a really beautiful crime and drama series with a little bit of comedy in it because you know comic relief is good there's plenty of stress in this country <laughs> you have to laugh it out um uh, i'm shooting this hey all right i'm shooting this really 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 cool series it's um along the lines of a musical um it's really nice we're gonna be shooting that uh in ife uh, yes, it's gonna be really, really cool. It's um, it's totally different from anything I've done. Um, it's very challenging, and I'm very excited to be working on that. I'm working on that right now, you know. So that's gonna be out really soon. You want to see that? Uh, I'm in talks with some producers on some new movies as well. So you know, as I said, 2016 is is gonna be really big for me. This AMVCA nomination has um 
has set me up right for the year just mentally you know because now uh, i'm looking at this year and i'm like all right this is the takeoff point of sorts you know everything from now just has to be big it just has to be different because now i'm trying to set a standard you know so yeah there's gonna be some new material maybe i might even do runway and moto this year you know you you never know i'm i'm full of surprises like that i could just pull out some stuff you know but yeah 2016 is gonna be a really big year and you're going to be seeing plenty from Olimideo this year, guaranteed. All right, hi guys, my name is Olumide Owaru. I'm an actor, model, rapper, and all the other entertainment, entertainment, and bugwe, bugwe. Um, yeah, now I'm gonna tell you five things about me that you don't know, in fact, that no one else knows. Um, fact number one is I comb my hair before I sleep. Before I go to bed, I have to comb my hair. Um, I, it, it just helps me sleep better. <laughs> I don't know why, but it does. So yeah, I comb my hair before I sleep. Um, fact number two is I can actually cook. Um, obviously, I'm not you know chef standards, but I can find my way around the kitchen. I can I can make a nice meal for for a couple of people. Um, fact number three is. Okay, this is more like a situational thing. But yeah, um, I was involved in a car accident on the 31st of 2015. 31st of December 2015, right? And I thought I was going to die. <laughs> um, happened on the bridge and, you know, cars really messed up. But, but yeah, I'm, a, I'm an accident survivor. So yes, God, God is good. God is real and he exists. I'm a firm believer. Um... Fact number four about me, wow, is that I used to have insecurity issues growing up, right? Um, I didn't think any 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 girls would, would like me. And if any girl told me she liked me, then I didn't take it seriously. I thought it was just wash. Uh, or maybe she like bet with a couple of friends that she would just embarrass me or something. But yeah, I, I didn't think I was, I was, you know, an attractive young man at some point in, in my early teenagers but i'm over that now of course um fact number five is i'm very shy um, a lot of people don't think i'm shy i don't know why but i'm very very shy um i would walk into a room and just not even talk to anybody and just be be observing but you know now that i'm a big boy uh, I'm slowly going out to that, but, but yeah, <laughs> I'm generally a very shy person. So yeah, I think those are five things about me that you guys didn't know, and now you guys know, and then you can now go and brag and tell people you know five things about me that they don't know. So yes, you feel really good. You like that. <laughs> wow. I guess dating the hottest girl in school is really making me cooler than I already am. Because people seem to be telling me hello a lot more these days. Feel my wrist, feel my neck, looking for my pulse. They're listening to my music saying it's not really commercial. I don't really care. You saw my face on that TV commercial. Yo, what's up? My name is Olumide Owuru. I am an actor and you are watching Pulse TV.